All right, guys, become a member on our YouTube channel and you'll automatically be in our weekly raffle for our giveaway of basketballs. We got these dope Franklin basketballs we're giving away all season. Thank you guys so much for the support with this channel. Let's get into our sports talk. All right, guys, we are back with another video. Y'all already know how I'm coming, man. Salute to the NBA community. And we got to talk about Giannis had to the Kubo for just a couple minutes. Just a couple minutes. I ain't going to hold too much of y'all too long with this situation. But, man, it's a lot of smoke and mirrors out there about Giannis possibly going somewhere else, man. I'm hearing talks about the Lakers and the Knicks and, and, and all these other, you know, locations and destinations and landing spots for Giannis, bro. To me, this is all cap. Giannis Antetokounmpo is not going anywhere. I don't even care if he is threatening himself to leave, bro. Don't believe the hype, man. Giannis is in a situation, I believe, that he has built a culture in Milwaukee that other players will come and want to play in Milwaukee to help him build something, even if Chris Middleton leaves later on down the pipe. So, I, you know what I mean? I just realistically don't see Giannis being a, a guy that wants to um, – you know, join something that's already, you know, up and running and, and trying to chase a championship. He was able to do it on his own merit in his own time. He had an opportunity to leave Milwaukee earlier, you know, and he stuck with it and turned around and won a championship. So I think he just applying pressure to Milwaukee as an organization for them to just keep their foot on the gas and to make sure that, you know, overall they try to stay in the space of contention and, you know, possible championship play because the Eastern Conference as a whole is definitely getting better. But all this talk about Giannis going to another team, bro, like I really don't see it, it, it at least like right now. I really don't like unless Milwaukee take a drastic drop or you know once we get into like that second half of the prime years of Giannis maybe he might be looking for a different change of atmosphere or environment at that point but right now bro I just don't see it no matter what team we talking about no matter what the deal is I don't see Milwaukee wanting to get rid of Giannis by any means and and to be honest man there's nowhere Giannis Antetokounmpo is going to go to guarantee championships it's just not gonna work would i love to see him with in la of course but it's just realistically stuff like that just don't even make sense so i try not to really you know tap in too much to a lot of the rumors and stuff like that but just the topic of discussion has been real heavy with Giannis possibly playing in another uniform sooner than later and and i i just got to talk to the bosses bro because i just think that that's cap i don't believe that at all man i think Giannis after the kumpo is a Milwaukee Buck to stay, maybe possibly for his entire year, career. But, you know, I'm never surprised when a player publicly say things, you know, just to keep the organization eyes, you know, woke. You know what I mean? That they don't sleep just because they won a championship a couple years ago. So I just don't, I think it's much about nothing, to be honest. I think all the rumors and everything is just a lot of talk because we in the off season, training camp and everything is starting up and, um, you know, we got the preseason hitting in about a month or two. So, you know, I think the reality of it is Giannis is not going anywhere no time soon. And um, that's just that, man. That's just that. That's just how I feel about that situation. So I probably won't be doing a whole bunch of conversating and topics about Giannis and his destination, bro. Because even if he becomes a free agent, I think Milwaukee still is going to lock him in. But you guys are now rocking with the best. This is the best of seven sports talk. I'm Seven Mitchell, man. Say goodnight to the bad guy. If you guys are new to this platform, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed the video as well, please smash that like button, man. The like button definitely helps grow the channel and the platform. So let's see if we can get as many likes on this video as possible, man. Become a member. Also, don't forget to join the membership here on YouTube and automatically become a participant in our weekly raffles of our Franklin basketballs. We're giving them away all season this season. So make sure you guys become a member of the Best of Seven Sports Talk and join the uh, membership and be a part of our festivities that we got going on on the channel. One more quick note, man. I, I do want to announce, I did make an announcement already, but I did want to make a special announcement. We got a new show going on. I am now a part of the Players' Choice panel family. Salute to everybody over there at Players' Choice, man. Shout out to those guys. We have our own show actually going down on the uh, Players' Choice platform called Lakerland. 
myself, Ryan, and my guy Zizi. We're going to be locked in every Sunday as well as every Tuesday, I believe. We're live every Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. And we're going to be live every Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Every week, twice a week, man, we tapping in with the Lakers. We got current topics. We got uh, his historical conversations, debates. Man, everything that you love and hate about the Lakers, we're going to run it on Lakerland. So, man, make sure you guys join me and support me as I become a part of the Players Choice family. And we kick our new show off this upcoming Tuesday, September the 5th, with our Lakerland show. So, I'm Seven Mitchell, man. This is the best of seven sports talk about to get up out of here. Y'all be safe. Mm-hmm.